Hello, my name is Herman and I am submitting for Milestone 3. This is my asset. Um, I did some work to it. There was a lot of stuff that I neglected from the first Milestone and the second one. Uh, there was a lot of issues I had with defining features, like very abrupt lines and wrinkles um, that made the character, I guess, look not realistic. So, for example, the jawline, I had a really straightforward line that you can obviously tell was supposed to be the jawline. And what I ended up doing through various critiques, peer following, and instructor recommendation, I softened up this edge right here to blend in with the neck. I also um, went ahead and expanded on the neck because before, I think my neck was like back here. And uh, I even had Adam's apple kind of obviously showing. It was, it was very apparent that that was supposed to be an Adam's apple, which, you know, according to Mr. Cip Cipriano's um, critique, that is not how, you know, a, a legit um, Adam's apple looks. Uh, I do need to form it in there somewhere to give some kind of indication that uh, he does have it. I tried a little bit right here. Um, I softened up the... what. I softened up the, uh, you know, I made him look less like he was buff um, or really muscular. I may need to do some more adjustments uh, depending on the guidance I'm given. Uh, I focused on the ear also. I did re, uh, re, uh, re, z, I did z remesh it. Excuse me, tongue twister. A few times. Um, I do plan to do it again uh, frequently. I enjoyed the technique of resurfacing or uh, retopologizing that I was given, so it was nice. I did uh, add the hair and the mustache. I took advantage of the notes and the critiques that were given to me, and I added my own specific details uh, as directed. You know, you got big chunks, small chunks, and then small strands of hair. Uh, could use some cleanup, like back here with the hair. Um, I was still in the playing around phase with it. I, I didn't really know how to go about actually making the hair look as legit as it would be. I think this is a good start and in a good direction of where I need to go. Um, but by, by any means, this is not... Uh, I can tell that this is not a, an acceptable version for the hair um, it's just I you know I, I would run into uh, roadblocks with my asset and I, I'd get confused and lost and um, so unfortunately this is as far as I got I, I really would like to go further but yes he's a mustache the hair uh, eyeballs are right here I focused a lot on the eyelids also Let me bring the geometry up. I have five subdivision levels. Computer's screaming at me right now. I don't I don't have the charger and I had to go to a separate room. But there's with the geometry. I don't know if it looks much different. But um but yeah, it fixed up the ears. Ear lids. I brought down the uh, the eyebrows. They were a little too, uh, from what I was given, like a anime kind of arc to them. I brought them down to give them a more uh, Middle Eastern look or a European look, straightforward, and then kind of bend down right here. Um, we take a look at the lips. I worked on those a little bit. Um, and if you could see here, I got my reference everywhere in case you need to see um, where I put my references. I have one for either side. I got one uh, that's focusing, you know, on just the side of this side of his face made it a lot easier to work. And I got the whole image right here. Along here, you turn to the side, there's an image there, there's an image there. So, and then the reason this is coming out so wash is if I hide it there's the other image right behind it so I can get the actual reference from 
um, what I originally chose to make this asset. Um, I did the top lip and uh, this part right here based off this reference. Uh, looks a little like it. Some of the concerns I have is whether the eyes are too small. There's something definitely off about the eyes. Um, the ears from the front view kind of match, but I would still like a little bit more, um, I guess, direction. I know the neck seems a little skinny. Um, I, I am looking for reference. I can only go so far with the reference before I feel like I'm not searching for the right stuff. So there's, there's that. I just noticed that this is supposed to be symmetrical and that's not supposed to be impeding to the other side of the geometry. But for the most part, this is, uh, this is my turn-in. I did a lot of work to it. Um, I'm hoping that this is, uh, I'm still in a good, good uh, place as far as uh, Portfolio 4 for this month. And um, yeah, thank you for your critique. Thank you for everything. Uh, in the folder that I have uh, submitted with Dropbox, I um, one of my peers told me that I should put all of my references in there if I was going to ask anybody to critique. So you'll find in the folder that I will enclose through the Dropbox that all of my references will be in there along with the file for my um, for my asset. I appreciate your time and look forward to working some more on this asset.